All right, folks, we're live. We're live, live and live out here in Los Angeles, California. Let's uh, let's tune in, creator mode. We are live out here in LA. Let's give it a minute. While I'm waiting for you guys to join, I'm gonna go ahead and do the YouTube intro. How are we doing YouTube live stream number two, IRL? Today we are on my XC mountain bike, S-Works Specialized epic uh we're gonna be riding somewhere i don't even know exactly where yet we're gonna go to in and out that's kind of like uh, one of my goals go get some food uh and then we're also gonna explore around la uh while live i'm live on twitch.tv slash john hicks underscore uh, if anyone sees this on youtube and wants to come tune in later that's what's going on uh yeah we also have a microphone let me see if that's even working a microphone let me see if that's even working. oh it's working amazing all right we're chilling we're actually big chilling so one thing I did forget is the windscreen for this microphone. I did notice that the, uh, the audio for the, uh, for the uh, other stream was terrible. So we're gonna try and improve on that today by using the DJI mic. However, uh, I don't have a windscreen for it. So we will try to mitigate that as best as possible. I think uh, one solution will be flipping it inside out like this. Maybe. This could do some type of help. I don't actually know. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. We're not going to be going that fast. It's kind of a windy day. Uh, fun fact, today I started off on the west side of LA. Super windy. So windy and cold and uh, overcast. It was not even worth staying out there. So um, so we are in downtown. Currently, we're in downtown Los Angeles. We have a wireless mic. We have upgraded our setup. We have our phone strapped up to the backpack as tight as it possibly could be. So it should be a solid angle. I guess we'll find out as we go. Uh, but pretty excited. It's a beautiful day out here in LA today. It's about 70, it's 73 degrees, uh, 1 p.m. Wind day. Yeah, yeah, no wind. Wind, in uh, wind index is low. Or, uh, yeah, nine miles per hour. Nine miles per hour. It's not windy. All right, we're good. We're chilling. Everything is, uh, is all systems go. I got a water bottle. I got my speaker so we can play music as we go. If anybody uh, wants to refer a song as we ride, feel free. Uh, but welcome everybody that's my youtube intro so uh welcome twitch stream all my uh my twitch viewers welcome we are just getting things going uh it's been a lengthy process to get to where we are right now uh, we started today in west la so i drove from my house valencia california down the freeway all the way to west la i got there and uh it was like it looked like it was about to rain honestly it was very cloudy very windy and just not good weather for riding bikes, let alone doing a live stream. So we rerouted. Now we're uh, somewhere closer to the center of the city. And I have a destination in mind. I don't know how we're going to get there. That's the journey. That's the, that's the fun part for today. We're just going to be riding and, uh, and figuring it out as we go. So uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, you guys hear me loud and clear, right? You guys hear the, um, the uh, LE, you're awake. <laughs> welcome. I didn't think I'd be seeing you in here. Good thing I got a mod. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Uh, I caught a little bit of Jeremy's stream this morning. I saw he was um, he was in Hollywood and there was like a, a he got the end of a pursuit where there was like a girl getting arrested. Uh, I saw that on YouTube. That looked crazy. Um, but I was asleep well before he started his stream. I caught a, a little bit of it today. That looked uh, pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, uh, we got we did a lot of uh, R and D. You know, we did some research and development for the stream. Audio should sound fantastic all the way through today. The one problem is I forgot the little wind cover that goes on this microphone. So that may be an issue. I don't know, we'll find out as we go, but I'm really happy that we won't have that. I looked at the VOD from the Suron stream and that was unusable. I didn't realize how bad the audio actually was for you guys as you were watching. Like it was truly unusable. So, uh, so we got that fixed. Um, we have multiple power banks for the phone. I don't know exactly how long we're gonna be out today. You know, it's uh, it's still the beginning of the day, so we could do like a, a lengthy stream today. I don't know exactly what, um, but uh, you know, we're gonna roll with the punches and see how it goes. Corey Bones, Wolf, all my locals, all my uh, regulars, how you guys doing? Trey, Dolt, everybody who's uh, you know, Tea House, all my regulars. So we're going on a little adventure today. It should be fun. It should be fun. Uh, right now we're in downtown. I'm just chilling for a bit to uh, you know, let things get started. And then we're gonna hit the road. You know, I got this link to this. So we're gonna be playing music and chilling. And we have a, I have a route kind of in mind. 
So the way I'm thinking about getting here, ultimately I want to go to the In-N-Out on Sunset, which is past Hollywood. So that should be a nice, I don't know, that's an hour each way, honestly, if I'm chilling. If I was like cooking, it'd be a little bit faster. I'm gonna try and get my stretches done while I'm just waiting here because I, I started cramping as, as I was driving. I don't know what the hell was on with that. Uh, if I see you cruising, can you I yell out? I mean, sure, yeah, why not? Um, so yeah, I have a route in mind. It's gonna be a lot of hills. Elise, what up? Are we getting fries? Absolutely, absolutely. I haven't eaten today, so this is gonna be my first big meal is when we get there. And the in and out is far. You know, I don't want to say which in and out I'm going to because then I don't, there's, there's only a few people here, but you never know. Someone might be there waiting for me. I don't know. Uh, there's a, also only a few in and outs over here. So <laughs> I guess once you see me rolling, it's going to make sense which way I'm going. But then I also might, also might not go to in and out. You know, I might not just, I just might not go. I might go somewhere else. I might go to, uh, I might go to Shake Shack. I might go to Five Guys. So, uh, you know, stay tuned, see what goes down. Or maybe I might switch it up and get a burrito. I'm going to get a sir on because of your videos. Hey, congrats, man. That's awesome. Sock check? Oh yeah, you guys know. It's hot today, man, so I had to get the... I'm trying to stay as covered from the sun as possible. I mean, check this out. I also got a bib on. I got the bib. That's how you know I'm really cycling today. I got the bib, and this covers, uh, you know, this has a, a butt pad. So that's the point of this, is the, uh, is the butt pad. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome to all my locals. We're gonna touch, we're gonna touch down in about five minutes and uh, hit the road, but right now we're just, uh, we're just chilling, letting everybody gather up i wanted to do this first to make sure everything was good audio looks good uh video looks good everything is solid so this is the best start we've had so far to any of the streams actually we're actually uh we're ahead of the game currently is one way you could put it um yeah butt padded dude i have a blister like right here because i didn't wear this and i did a 30 mile ride uh like two weeks ago so i have one of those you know those blood blisters you get i don't know if anyone rides like uh, bikes for you know multiple miles, but if you ride bikes for a long time, like you do a lot of miles, and you're not, you don't have butt pads. Like uh, it's called, uh, it's called, um, I forget what it's actually called, but it's basically a pad. It's a pad that goes on your ass to go over the seat when you're riding for a long ass time. Even if you have the most comfortable seat in the world, you need the ass pad because otherwise you get this chafing, and then even past that, you get this blood blister thing. It's like it's a little, it's a little blister that goes on your fucking ass cheek, literally, and. Uh, <laughs> Dude, he, <laughs> this guy's not lined up, but he was on a 20 inch low rider bike, smoking weed, listening to uh, Tupac, Ambitions of the Rider as he rode past. Hey, welcome to LA. Um, but anyways, yeah, I got it on, so we should be good. I kinda, it's kind of irritating. I still feel the blood blister that I got a couple weeks ago, but uh, you know, we should be good. You have those shorts? Yeah. So they come in two ways. This is the bib style. The bib, it has, it's a wrestler. Have you ever seen wrestlers? This is kind of like what it is. It just has an ass pad. So it's the same bib. Um, the bib holds it up. So if you have the shorts, I don't know, I'm kind of like a big boy. I'm sitting at like 215 pounds. So the shorts always end up sagging. Like it goes past my ass crack, so I can't wear the shorts. I have to get the whole bib. And it doesn't really, it, it's not like a road biking bib. But you know, it's like, you know. Really works, I'm a utilitarian, so if I find something that works, then uh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, the mic is covered? Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. See, look, that's uh, that's problem one that might happen today, is we're gonna have some audio issues. <sighs> I didn't have, uh, I don't have the, the wind cover for this, so it's probably gonna be a little windy. It's probably gonna be windy. But uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna hit the road, honestly. I think uh, once we hit the 10 minute mark, we're gonna just bone out, that's in another minute or so. Sound like I was talking to a pillow. Oh, whoops. Thought this was a video. Well, it will be a video. I'm gonna upload every time I stream from now on. I also have a bunch of videos uh, that I have to post. I sat and edited all day yesterday um, on my second channel to, uh, to make things. So for per perspective of where we're at, this is where we're at. Let's, uh, let's flip the camera. Those are the graffiti towers, if you know about those. Wait, we're on the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, close. we're at Staples. We're kind of by the graffiti towers. There's a graffiti towers right there. Uh, I can't see anything on my phone while I'm riding. I'm just going to lock this, the actual phone that's, um, that's doing the broadcast. But I will have my iPhone in my hand. So I'll be able to uh, see most of what's going on as far as chat and, um, you know, control the music, song requests. I don't know. We're just going to be chilling. We're going to have a good time and we're going to ride. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Once again, it's perfect weather. This is actually 
better than I could have hoped for. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I started off in West LA and uh, it was terrible out there, man. It looked, it was depressing. I was like, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother trying to start out here. So I just took my stuff back in the car, drove out here. We parked uh, at a parking lot that way and now here we are. So uh, what are your shoes? They're cool, these are Nike uh, Air Max. These are some Air Maxes, newer ones. I don't know which ones, but uh, we got sunscreen on, we're comfy. So let's go ahead and start strapping up. We gotta hit the road at, at some point. Or I could really just sit here for a little bit longer, honestly. I'm not really in a rush to do anything. Uh, plan on uploading VODs to second channel? Uh, no, not full VODs, you know, because uh, I will be, I, I am an editor. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a YouTuber. I still do this shit. You know, I'm an editor, I'm a YouTuber. I cut up my own videos, so I will be cutting up the VOD myself. Just like I just did. Uh, YouTube.com slash Hicks, H-I-X. If you go there, you can see the, the VOD that I cut up from the last IRL we did. Uh, it's over there if you want to check that out. Um, but um, yeah, as far as full VODs, I mean, they're just here. You know, you can watch it on Twitch. What's the point of posting it uh, on YouTube? There's, uh, you know, it's going to be like a five hour video and, you know, maybe some people watch. But the thing is, we're going to be playing music. We're going to be playing copyright music. So there's no point in really posting the whole VOD on uh, YouTube. So, you know, you see it here, you see it here. That's, uh, that's how we're rocking. Um, best distance to cruise for a good ride? Uh, what do you mean cruise? I mean, there is no best distance really. It's whatever you feel like doing. For me, we're about to do like, I don't know, 30 miles today probably. You know, it's gonna be a lengthy one. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be here for about four hours. So, uh, so it should be a good time. Anyways, with that said, I'm gonna start strapping up. We're about to hit the road. So sit tight for a second. The camera's gonna be jumping around and stuff, but uh, yeah. If I have any other mods in here besides LEE, I don't know, LEE might be doing her own thing while she's here. I'm gonna put this on. Ugh. Oh God, let me lock the phone before I start doing anything crazy. I don't even know what I just did. What is going on? Dude, this Samsung, it's just, it is a mess. Back to IRL Pro, all right, we're good. All right, I'm gonna lock the phone here. I'm gonna lock this phone. Boom. I'm gonna put it on. Ugh. Okay, I have developed a, a crazy setup for today. We have a DJI wireless mic. I have a strap holding the, uh, the camera to my face. I mean, to my uh, backpack. I said face because face ID was just turning in. All right. I think we're all set. So here's how we're looking. Let's go, uh, I'm gonna get a quick spin. As much as testing as I did on this setup, you know, it's always, um, there's always variables. So let's go ahead and give it a quick spin around the corner. See how we're looking. Oh yeah, we're chilling, huh? How's the sound, guys? Let me know how the sound is. Ellie, you're here? All right, solid. Let me see. Ellie, you're here? All right, solid. Oh, there goes Echo. Okay, let me know right now if there's wind. If there's no wind, if it's not like badly windy right here, then we're like super in the game. We're super in the game. Yeah, yeah, if we're chilling like right here, we're chilling. What's up with all the ads? It is what it is, man, it's Twitch. Hey, yeah, oh God, yeah, everyone's getting tormented by ads. I, hey guys, I don't know what to say. All right, it is what it is. Sounds good? We sound good? It's very windy right now. I forgot the little wind muff for this uh, this microphone too. So if we're good right here, then we should be good all day. Very little. If it's very little, we can deal with that. It's not nearly as bad as it was on the Suron, right? Yeah, because that was crazy. Yeah, the Suron was crazy. When I watched the VOD back, I was like, oh, this is unusable. This is not just like bad, but it's like, you can't even, oh, I just rode over a bunch of glass. Yeah, yeah, Ellie, the, the, Suron, the Suron ride was unusable. You guys were going easy on me. Hey, if it's bad, don't don't hesitate to tell me that it's bad. When the when the picture is bad or the quality is bad, anything like that, when shit's bad, let me know it's bad because uh, it gives me a better perspective when I'm on the field. It sounds good. Stop yelling. Absolutely not. This is my normal voice, dude. <laughs> this is just how I talk. I don't know if you're uh, if you've ever seen my YouTube videos. This is just how I sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is solid though. We're gonna lock it in. This is good because now I can, uh, it doesn't look or bad sound, look or sound bad to me. All right, cool. All right, now I can, uh, now I can kind of focus on actually doing my thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do two things real quick. We're gonna stop one more time. I'm gonna start my ride on my watch. 
let's go ahead and start an outdoor cycle boom let's see how uh how much distance we do one of those phone arm straps Eh, dude i ride bikes so trust me i'll be fine <laughs> I, I have no problem reaching in my pocket grabbing my phone as we ride and do all that stuff so uh anyways all right we're about to hit the road from here we're going to hit uh i don't know some route hold on let me uh let me uh hold on we gotta stop one more time actually let's get through here and then we're gonna pop up on this curb Ugh. let's get some tunes going you know what i'm saying and we're about to hit a long cruise from here to hollywood that's the goal let's get spotify boom whoa that's loud this is what i was listening to on the drive down so let's just go ahead and keep the same let's keep the same energy going i don't know if you guys can even hear the music but it's vibey you know we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling it's nice see you set the way and it doesn't only capture your voice and capture the ambient too all right good i was kind of worried about that i was hoping it wouldn't be too sensitive on just my voice but uh one problem i have with this setup is that my oh I'm, <laughs> i stopped playing the audio <laughs> my uh my phone is on way worse service than my streaming phone I have Spectrum on my uh, on my cell phone that I use like in my regular life, and then my streaming phone has got um, T-Mobile, which is way better in LA. If you live in LA, T-Mobile is like top tier as far as data, not necessarily coverage, but as far as data, it's like uh, it's up there. Oh, that guy's staring at me hard. I think he was looking at my bike though. He had a Specialized on his bike on the back of his car too. Not having the motor this around. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to, oops, not do that. I'm going to open up Spotify. I'm just going to try and, we're going to try and cover some ground now. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. We're on Pico and Union, and uh, we're going westbound. We got to cover some ground. We got a long ways to go if we're going to make it to Hollywood. So uh, the first place we got to go is, uh, is through K-Town. So to get to K-Town from here, we're going to take Pico, until we hit one of the main northbound, southbound streets, like maybe Hoover. Um, and then we could take Hoover to Wilshire or something like that. And we could take Wilshire for a bit and then we could take, uh, and we could take Sumra. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm a local folks. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm at and I know where the destination is. So uh, stay tuned. One thing I wanted to get, which uh, I did, just didn't have time, you know, because I was scrambling to get this going today, was uh, a phone mount right here. That would be perfect. That's all I'm really missing is a uh, is a display right here so I can read the chat while I'm going. But, uh, you know, what time? We're actually going to take this alley. Ugh, you guys know I love a good alley. And this one's going to save us some time. Thank you. Oof. All right, off we go. We're gonna we're gonna end up going back to to Pico. This alley was this is actually gonna save us like <laughs> like three seconds in the overall route we're doing. So not that much of a, a time saver, but it gets us off of that busy street, which is I was also also wanted to do that. We could take back streets for a little bit. Right now we're on 12th Street in Westlake, so we're just going to uh, we're going to take these back streets till we get the to like K Town area. Once we get over there, then uh, we can start going north more. But we kind of have to shoot across through uh, through Westlake. So that's the current goal. Looks like they're, oh, they're, they're, doing, they're doing car washes. You guys see that? They have signs for it that say car wash. Oh 
You guys do bikes too? <laughs> you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, she. <laughs> that was like that was like a uh, that was like a yes, but it was like a. I'm not trying to wash your bike. I'm trying to wash you. <laughs> she. <laughs> I don't know. She's kind of giving me that look. I don't need nothing to do with that. We're gonna go ahead and keep going. All right, 11th Street. We're making a left westbound. I prefer these. Uh, I call these like off the off the grid main streets because they're still busy enough to give us some excitement, but it's just way less traffic. You guys, bear with me. I'm gonna be uh, reading chat as much as I can, but when I read the chat, it's uh, it's just when I can. This is great to see live. Awesome. I'm a. This is the type of content I had in mind when I first booted up the Twitch, you know. But I just want you guys to know that I need you guys at my desktop streams too, because that's that's what's gonna. Oh my God, dude! I thought he was gonna run those birds over. The birds were not moving, bro. Birds are built different out here. They just don't care. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this would prove you can do bike exploration with a phone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I've always known that, you know, for YouTube, when I'm just making a YouTube video, obviously the goal is to make the best video possible with the best, uh, with the best quality. And that requires a GoPro. But just for this, this is like, this is less about the, the content as far as be doing stuff and more about hanging out with you guys, giving you something to watch on a beautiful Saturday as, uh, as I ride bikes. Anyways, uh, putting the phone back up. Good luck with dogs. We shouldn't see any dogs where we're going today. We're not going to South Central. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. We're actually gonna curb alert. Look at this right here. We're gonna try and do as much exploration as we can on the road. Should I go back here? We can totally get back there if we wanted to. No reason to though. This is another day where I'm gonna be really uh, intrigued to see the VOD because back when I used to ride my BMX everywhere with a chest mount, you kind of have to steer the camera like this with your chest towards what you want to show. And that's, uh, that's sort of the concept of what we're doing today. All right, we got a downhill. We got a downhill in front of us, so uh, lock it in, folks. We got a downhill and we got a spot. All right, here we go. Whoa, that car is coming right at us. A little sketchy. <laughs> Whoops. Nice. Cool. You know, ultimately, I am, uh, I'm less concerned about the video and more concerned about not crashing. <laughs> That's always my uh, philosophy. Even when I'm out filming for YouTube, I'm more concerned about the video. I mean, uh, not crashing, less concerned about the video. We could have actually gone that way. That would have been a little smarter. Right now we're on Hoover, going northbound through K-Town. We're gonna curve it right here, honestly, because the, the cars are just, they're all gassing it today. It's Saturday, everybody's flooring it. And uh, we're not trying to be part of that. Anyways. If anyone's curious about what bike we're on today, this is my Specialized S-Works Epic Evo. If you Google that, my bike should pop right up. Uh, this is my favorite bike to just like ride, you know, as an actual bicycle. Well, we just run over, <laughs> we rode over something sharp right there. I don't know if you guys heard that pop. We're on XC tires, so like, we're very liable to get flats. <laughs> We're, we're, hoping, we're hoping against that not happening. We got another baby downhill right here. Let's give it some gas. This bike is super fast for how jumpable it is too. It's super fast. It's so easy to pick up speed on it. So I used to have, I don't know if you guys can, can you hear me when I'm going downhill like that on the mic? Go ahead, lady. Yep, you're good. Uh, can you hear me when I'm going downhill? 
I'm gonna check the chat when I stop next right here at this light. Look, this guy with his bike is still here. <laughs> He's got a pretty nice bike. Yeah, that's cool. Kona? Is that a Kona? Couldn't tell. We're gonna hit some stairs right here. You guys ready? Ready for the stairs? I hope you're ready. Cause we're about to hit them. Hopefully the phone doesn't go flying. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our speaker yeah yeah i know thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> it didn't stand a chance okay. thank you gracias hey, it's still on didn't even lose connection all right let's time out let's time out so first question can you guys hear me when we we're going down the hill sounds really good awesome barely hear the wind that's good that's good all right chill i got the swat tool yeah yep yeah you know wolf all right cool we're gonna keep moving we're gonna keep moving we're gonna do a little free ride here and there like that i don't even know if you guys saw anything there but you know <laughs> we still did it i have this bike um i have it locked out so all the suspension is uh is rigid you flip these two dials and it turns bouncy and uh you know if i was thinking quicker i would have but we're just uh we're just uh you know this is like improv bike riding we're just going uh we're doing this on the fly to be honest i was about to boot this stream up on youtube i feel like this would have been perfect for uh for my first ever youtube stream but i was like you know what let's just keep it on twitch i think tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna boot this up on youtube so uh stay tuned if uh, you're interested in that. But right now we are on Wilshire and uh, I'm feeling good. Not even remotely tired. You know, talking while you're riding usually gets you exhausted way quicker, but I'm in great shape currently. So it's not that big of an issue. Just gotta time my pedal strokes. Oh well. It's a nice Porsche. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do have a phone on my backpack. It's not even out of the ordinary, though. It doesn't even look crazy. I mean, how, uh, you know, how strange is it to see a phone on a backpack? My setup is, like, so incognito, you can barely tell that I'm streaming. The only thing that gives it away that I have a backpack on my phone or a phone in my backpack is that I have a, a MagSafe case on the Samsung. So you know it has that big circle with the line going into it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of like uh, it's like putting a bullseye on. <laughs> yeah, but we're good. Right, we're gonna take a uh, little detour right here, cut through the train station. So we are at we are at the Wilshire in Vermont train station. I'm gonna take a little shortcut. Oh my goodness. Her entire booby was hanging out. It wasn't visible, but it was hanging out. That's kind of wild. I have a Velcro strap on the phone to keep it uh, to keep it held up. So that's kind of how I'm uh, able to keep the phone. My first iteration of this uh, setup that we're watching on right now, the phone was bouncing crazy. So I was like, all right, how can I do this? So first, the first, uh, the first solution was a gigantic rubber band. We put a huge rubber band attaching the backpack strap to the phone. That didn't really work. And plus, I was like, the rubber band could easily snap if, uh, you know, we're doing something like those stairs. I feel like the rubber band would have snapped. So we uh, we ended up getting Velcro straps. We got Velcro straps. And then we tried to tie them up a bunch of different ways until we came up on the way that you're watching right now. And now this thing is not able to move. <laughs> like I can't take it off the backpack. That's the other problem. And so if I want to put the backpack down or the phone down and not um, be holding the backpack, we have to put, take the entire backpack off and, uh, and put the phone somewhere. And that's how I filmed the intro. We got a bus lane, we're in it. And we got buses too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, Ellie, am I on the right lens? Am I on the wide angle? I didn't even check before we hit the road. The phone is a little tilted to the right. Ah, uh, sorry, man, it is what it is. I'm doing my best. I could, there's only so many things I can handle at one time. We're on the move. Yes, it is? Okay, cool. All right. Well, then, uh, yeah. The problem is the phone is not tilted to the left. It's uh, my body. My body is tilting to the left and the right. <laughs> or the right, that is. Yeah, so, I mean, the phone is actually perfectly horizontal. It's just when I'm, when I'm on the move is when, uh, is when you get that effect. It looks wide? Okay, cool. Yeah, no, Ellie knows when it's, when it's on the tight uh, lens option. So we're good to go. All right, let's keep going. We are on Wilshire and Bar uh, Barendo. So we're just kind of cruising right now. We still got a lot of ground to cover before we get Hollywood. Um, and there's a couple ways we can go from here. Do you guys want to go through uh, Koreatown? Or should we just keep going straight? I'll check in the next one. Let me know if you guys want to go through Koreatown or if you want to go through uh, Wilshire. Wilshire has a lot of hills, so we can do some fun downhill. But uh, if we go through Koreatown, it's like a lot of tight streets and tight neighborhoods, so it may be more fun to look at. I don't know. Do you know what would be so awesome is if there was like a DJ. Hey, look, this guy's got a one wheel walking his dog. Hey, <laughs> you see that? He's got two Frenchies and a one wheel. <laughs> That's sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's living in the future. Yeah, yeah. All right, so if we're going to cut through K-Town, we do it right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this right. We're in Alexandria. We're going to take a right. This used to be where I would hang out all the time. Oh, I got some BMXers up here. Very nice. Got to look to the right. K-Town, yeah, everyone said K-Town too. All right, perfect. All right, so we're going through K-Town. This is one of my old kick-it spots when I lived in downtown. We'd ride our bikes out here, and we would come here to this, this little plaza right here. This is 6th and uh, Alexandria. This used to be our hangout spot, dude. There's so much food right here. Um, we would always go to this restaurant right here called Louders. Hello. These are the valets coming in whipping. <laughs> we're actually kind of stuck. We got to do some maneuvering to get through here. Uh, we would hit the 7-Eleven all the time. And uh, we had a cycling buddy. I love these old school Jeeps, the Cherokees. We had a cycling buddy that lived right around the corner here, uh, this way, up on Alexandria. And uh, he was like the cycling house meetup spot. So we'd all like ride our bikes there, chill, go on a ride from there, go do like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 miles from his house and then come back, go to the plaza. Good times. That was when I was, uh, Kind of a bum though <laughs> you know i wasn't really working so <laughs> i was able to do stuff like that and it was fun you know everyone's got that one phase where they're just kind of being a bum and uh, all you do is like really fun stuff all the time and that's where uh that's where i was doing that so anyways we're just making moves we're actually gonna uh, let's see we're gonna double back we're gonna go back to wilshire because these streets are real tight and uh well i see a bunch of glass on the ground up ahead we got to get off the sidewalk Oh no, what was that cup? It was a mystery liquid. Luckily it didn't splash me. I think it got on my tire though. Well, that's what they that's what they invented Lysol for. Thankfully. Oh we got a road closed. Let's actually curb it, I guess. That actually wasn't glass on the ground. It was like uh it was that sparkly ground, you know that sparkly ground that is uh in some places. It's like looks like asphalt but it sparkles. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it, really. Yeah. yeah. This whole road is closed. We gotta pop off. Pop off. Ooh, 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 ooh. We had some quick route right there. We skillfully went over. Now we gotta go uphill. Past the Normandy. Hey, look, he's got a heat scooter. Nice. Yep, yeah, nice. I do wish that we had a. Uh... Let's cross right here. I wish we had an easier method to. Uh... Oh God. Oh, okay. No, my she. He is covered. I thought it was like an open shot of balls. We're good. He had he had shorts on. <laughs> I 
Oh God. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, yeah, that, uh, that completely made me forget what I was talking about. I was like, well, there's my band. There's my first band for sure. I think I need to take my shades off. My, uh, my freaking, um, my face ID is not working. Brock Deasy, what up? Oh, hello. Swore bends of sidewalks? Yeah, I kind of am a sidewalk cruiser. I'm a sidewalk guy. All right, continuing on. I'm just going to keep on riding until we get to uh, where we got to go. Let's cross back. Looks like they built this. This, uh, these look like condos, maybe? Opus? <laughs> they're, they're doing the downtown LA and Cape Town. Build fancy overpriced condos, call it some name that sounds extravagant. 3,500 bucks a month for a 250 square foot studio. <laughs> yeah, that's the LA way. It looks like it's coming to Cape Town next. It's crazy. Yep, well, here we are in Wilshire. We kind of, uh, I meant to take you guys more through K-Town, but this way is fine too. This way is, uh, this is like downtown K-Town. So if we really took our time, there's a bunch of little nooks and crannies that, uh, that look really cool. We could always do that on the way back too. So, uh, you know, it's fine. There's a bunch of little like, um, you know, like roads that you can only walk on out there. And there's like a bunch of these tiny little hidden restaurants. And, uh, and cool stuff. It'd be cool to go through some of them, but I don't think that would be possible with the bicycle. Anyways, we're coming up on the infamous Radio Korea. That's a building up here to the left. I don't even know why it's famous, but uh, it is. It's so windy, like stuff is blowing into my face from these trees, like seeds and stuff. So if you guys can hear me, that's, uh, that's fantastic. That is great. I'm super impressed with this mic. You're good, man. All right. We are going to keep it pushing right here. Yep, 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 yep. Coming up to Wilshire and Western. The Wiltern is right here on the left. Famous uh, concert hall. I think they just had some things from uh, Netflix as a joke here, if I'm not mistaken. They're doing that here, and they're also doing it at the Hollywood Bowl. Crazy traffic coming down today, going past the Hollywood Bowl. Um, they're doing Trevor Noah tonight at the Hollywood Bowl, and I think it's sold out. The other night they had, um, yeah, Netflix is a joke fest, Ali Wong, 7 p.m., Shang Wang, 945. I don't know if that's today. That's probably like from the other day. I can't see, May, May 12th, is that today? What's today? Anyways, uh, let's go north here. Actually, no, you can, we can keep going westbound. Wilshire is chill right here. Um, who's the other guy who's a comedian? Um, everyone makes fun of him because he looks like handsome Squidward, but he sold out, bro. He sold out the, um, he sold out the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, is that, is that the white guy who looks like he has a, a lip filler? Dude, he sold that shit out and the traffic going in there was, I've never seen it that bad. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen traffic that bad ever. Going to, uh, going into the Hollywood Bowl. Are we paused? No, we're good. Look at this pigeon right in front of me. Brave ass pigeon. <laughs> well, chat's frozen for me, so I can't see if you guys are responding. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. The video feed is on, but the chat was frozen. Onwards we go. Hello, you turning right into me. I don't know if this is a particularly windy street, but it's very windy right here. Since you guys said the audio sounds fine, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep mobbing down here because this is uh, this is my favorite road to take when I have to come through West LA 
which is something I haven't added to in a long time because I don't live out here anymore. But uh, I used to always take this road because there's a bus lane. And uh, as far as I know, it's illegal to ride a bike in the bus lane. I don't know, even if it was illegal. If it was illegal, it still wouldn't stop me, to be quite honest. Because uh, I've seen cars going 100 down Wilshire before. It was about to, see, that's a fatal error. I, I have learned that habit on my Suron. Before you pull into traffic, always turn around and look. He almost pulled in right into me. If I was a, what if I was a G-Wagon? You know, I would have just plowed straight through that guy. Luckily, he looked at the last second. He started going before he looked though, which is a bad habit. I've been working on fixing that one myself. So from here, we're about to hit like just nothingness. But you know, we gotta get through this part. This is where I originally came through earlier today. I came down this street, boom. Wilton, it's going south to uh, Washington or something like that. Oops. And, um, and went to Culver City. And I was gonna ride from Culver City to Malibu. But dude, it was so ugly. You can still see, well you probably can't see from here, but on the edge of the, the horizon out there, above the buildings, there's clouds. It was so cloudy and dark. So I was like, you know what, screw this. I'm just going to ride in the city. You know, it doesn't matter where we're riding as long as we're out here. Get some exercise. It's all good. And then tomorrow, tomorrow my main goal is to film a YouTube video. So we'll see how, uh, how that goes. But now that I have this mic set up, I can film on the Suron way better too. I also modified this uh, mount so I can go on my helmet instead of the chest. One thing I noticed about the chest mount on the, uh, on the Suron was that it was just all over the place. I don't know if this one is too. I have it much tighter, but I guess I'll see when I check out the VOD. It, uh, it was bouncing all over and it was like doing this. I mean, this might be two, but <laughs> I truly don't know any other method to stabilize after this, if this doesn't pan out, but I think it will. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I know I'll probably bug talking about tech stuff constantly, but once I get this down, then that won't be a problem. Then we can focus on just doing cool stuff. So everyone's turning into me, man. Come on, dude, let me survive, please. Just one more day, one more day alive. We're gonna hit a back route right here. I'm gonna take a Irving. I'm gonna go right. This is a really nice street. Now we can chill out a little bit. Let's go. We're actually <laughs> we're covering so much ground. I think on the way back. Maybe we could do sunset all the way back. That might be kind of sick. It would be like, it'd be a pretty torturous ride though. It'd be like, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty hectic. We're on 6th Street, we gotta stop here. I love riding uphill. Hey, good for you, man. <laughs> We're happy for you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I do it. I wouldn't say I love it. Restless won't be. Also, um, Shout out to everyone who's new here today. I know a lot of you guys are new from uh, from just a YouTube video alone, from my main channel, from my second channel. I'm kind of hands off today because I'm just focused on not dying on the live stream. So I'll uh, when we get to in and uh, um, hey, when we get to a unknown food spot, I will uh, try and chat with you guys for a little bit. Everything looks good. We sound good. That's all I care about. As long as I'm giving you guys uh, some solid uh, content. Let's go ahead and listen to uh, some reggae tunes as we cruise down this LA street. La Brea Tar Pits, yeah, we could, uh, we would have ended up crossing there if we kept going straight down Wilshire. We would have ended up over there, but I'm trying to get off the grid a little bit. Let's actually go this way. Look at this street. This, this is the one right here. Yeah, dog. It's a beautiful Saturday to just be outside, even if it's a little windy. 
still wouldn't rather be doing much else right now. Maybe chilling with my girlfriend. Maybe making some money on a Suron ride, but uh, you know, other than that, this is not a bad option whatsoever. Whoa, he's coming in hot. Look like he's about to run that joint. <laughs> but you know. Yeah, no one wanted to ride out here today. But the thing is, I also am very quick. So I texted a couple people, see if they wanted to tag along. No one replied. I got a window of about 15, 20 minutes. If you don't reply, I'm already, I'm gone, man. <laughs> That's already pushing it too. Realistically, I got about five. Look at this house. It's crazy, huh? It looks like the White House. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at that house. Look at that Cadillac. You think that's the owner's Cadillac or like the maid? What do you guys think? That's a huge house, dude. There's like a second house behind it. It's like a whole nother house. It's crazy. I don't even think you can buy a house out here. Like they're just not for sale. <laughs> like they're just never for sale. This is, uh, I forget what this part of town is called. It's, uh, it's right off of Wilshire. But these houses are so insane, dude. They're probably like seven, eight million dollars, which is absurd. Like, look at this. Look at that, bro. It is absurdly expensive, but it's also like, you just can't buy it. <laughs> so that's why I can't afford these and want to move here. And they still, you know, maybe for rent once in a while, you could pop up, you know. And I'm sure there's, a couple options here and there that you can find for sale every so often if you're keen. But uh, yeah, happily refuse to sell to like 90% of people who even want to buy here. <laughs> it's one of those neighborhoods, you know, it's like a code. You got to fit the description, fit the profile. All right, we're going to take a right right here. This is Arden Boulevard. We're just, uh, we're getting lost in the sauce, folks. We're taking the back streets, the back routes. Eventually, we'll get up to Hollywood Boulevard, and then we'll take that for a bit. But, uh, you know, for now, we're just back street surfing, neighborhood cruising. This is the opposite of what I do on my YouTube. We're looking at the best neighborhoods. <laughs> oh, it's choppy out here? All right, exit stage left. <laughs> yeah, they probably have satellite blockers. They got a 1970s house. I know, right? They do look... None of them look like super modern. There's no glass or exposed wood or, or stone or concrete much. Like they are old looking houses, right? But these two, these joints are expensive, bro. Let me tell you. Like these, that looks like the house from Full House. So. The jobs of the people that have to own these houses. Uh, well. A lot of them have probably owned it for a long time, but a lot of these people in this area have like entertainment business jobs. NBC, uh, CNBC, is that the same thing? Uh, ABC, all those studios are really close to here. If you, uh, if you go north and then west a little bit, the big, uh, the big TV studios are, most of them are not that far from right here. So. A lot of entertainment roles, a lot of just people who bought the house when they were cheap back in the 80s, 70s maybe, and just held on to them, you know. A lot of these people probably bought these houses for well under a million dollars, maybe even like five, six hundred K range. And even then it was looked at as pricey, maybe. Even with inflation, you know, that's still, still crazy. <laughs> now they're worth probably like three, four, five million dollars. Anything in this neighborhood for sure. Yeah, but you know, that's LA in a nutshell, man. People keep thinking the houses are gonna get cheaper. They're only gonna get more expensive. Everything's just gonna keep going up. Even if they don't go down, well, they might just stay the same. <laughs> I don't see them changing much from where they're at now. But you never know. You never know. All I know is I cannot afford a home in LA currently. Anything I'm looking at is like 1.1, 1.2 million. I ain't got that type of cheddar, homie. I just ain't got it. <laughs> it's got a G-Wagon. It's <laughs> like, how can you, you know what that car is? <laughs> that cover ain't saving nothing. And maybe it's just for the elements, but we all know what that is. That's a G-Wagon player. Yep. 
Yeah, so that's what's going on back here. Oh, what did we just accomplish? Yay, move ring closed. I stopped paying attention to my move, my rings on the Apple Watch a long time ago. It's just like, you know, sometimes it's fun to pay attention to. Anyone here do their mood rings or their, um, their move rings? The fitness, the stand, and the, uh, the calories on an Apple Watch. Bro, it ends up like running your life. <laughs> it ends up like controlling your life. <laughs> it's a good thing though. Like it makes you, it forces you to like exercise, which is nice. But like, <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to. Yeah, yeah sometimes you just don't want to. <clears throat> Another thing I realized, I can't even go to eat in and out because I can't go in there with my bike. The one here on Sunset is so busy, like it's gonna be impossible. Maybe we will go to Shake Shack because it's way more wide open. And uh, I've actually never been to Shake Shack. <laughs> I've never actually eaten there. I had some fries once and my friend gave me, but I've never went there and ordered. Alrighty, Arden Boulevard and Beverly Boulevard. We are covering some ground, folks. I do, it stresses me out, true. All factory where you live, yeah, yeah. TV trucks are always in these neighborhoods, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of executives, a lot of just entertainment in general, you know. Not just a meme out here, it's really how it is. All right, put this phone away. We are in a, uh, we're in a traffic situation, folks. Let's lock it in real quick. Never mind, that's all the cars. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> oh, we still gotta, we gotta stay focused right here. Just gotta get through this little area. No hands. Whew. Yeah, I used to have, um, I used to have a job over here. My boss used to live like, uh, yeah, right here at Rose Rosewood. You make this left. I had an apartment over here. And uh, I would just do like odd jobs. I was basically an assistant. This was like over 10 years ago. It was a long time ago. But uh, yeah, I was like an assistant. It's like an assistant role. Just doing random shit, you know, to make money. Like uh, delivering things, doing little editing jobs. Before I did YouTube videos, I was a video editor, pretty much full time. I would sometimes be the camera operator, but I was mainly just editing. So, uh, I'm a very proficient editor. I know how to edit on just about any platform. DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, Final Cut, um, Avid. We used to have to use Avid when I had a, an actual job at a, uh, like a nine to five office. Uh, but we switched to Premiere, thankfully. Premiere is just the best. What bike am I on today? I am on my Specialized. See if I can show this. Oh, is this in the way? Oops. Dude, he is bumping. <laughs> that guy's just, he has a backpack with a gigantic speaker and he just turns it on max. <laughs> He's walking with like a 50 pound speaker in his backpack. What a, what a thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> we're out here, folks. I don't even, I'm kind of tempted to get back on a back street. This is kind of, uh, it's kind of too much going on right here. I think we're going to back street it for a bit. Just to uh, get a change of pace. I've never been down this particular street ever. Fun fact. Am I still playing music? I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I am. Dang, look, an M3. Is that mine, bro? JK, that's an E93. Convertible style. Sure looks similar, though. I don't know. Sure looks similar. Rip the M3. Who knows where that car is at now? I'm sure it's just in, in many pieces around the world. Someone's got the engine. Someone's got the chassis. Someone else got the frame. Someone else got the trunk lip. Someone's got the hood. Some random good, some some dude in Mississippi's got the the front bumper like it just got parted out savagely. Hey, it is what it is. Tis what it is. So we're basically in Hollywood. 
Um, right in front of us is Fountain. The street we're about to cross is La Mirada. And we're on El Centro. So I'm gonna take El Centro North. That takes us pretty much up to Hollywood Boulevard. And I kinda, we could at least skip some of the drama back here because uh, the traffic is kind of, it was kind of, it was driving me crazy on that main street back there. Off we go. Tango Esposa Toxica. What does that mean? What does that mean? Any translators in the chat? What does that mean? Tango Esposa Toxica. I'm assuming Toxica is uh, toxic. You know? You guys see the Paramount sign? Probably not. <laughs> you know what would be the ultimate would be if I had like a gimbal mounted like right here and I could like turn it <laughs> like a 360. Turn it to my face, turn it to the front, pinch to zoom in, zoom in on stuff we see as we're going. Um, that would be sick, but I don't even know if that exists. <laughs> Probably a way to rig it somehow, but I don't know. We're coming up on Sunset. Paramount Studios up here on the right. Netflix is uh is like right here too. Got a nice Subaru. Butt cheeks are feeling the pain, even with the pad. Ugh. Let's go ahead and step on it across here. What is going on here? Oh, it's a concert. Netflix inside outside joke. Holy shit! Well, I'd say get tickets. Do you think you can slip Kenji in? Yeah. Wonder if I can get an angle of this. Probably not. Let's go over here. You're gonna be in the balcony, but bring that same look here. You'll be all right. <laughs> Nick Jackson, everybody, give it up for him. Oh, that's my guy right there. One more time. There's a lot of people in there. there uh, I want to zoom in, but I can't. My phone's locked. So instead, we'll just ride up there. Guys, we got one more special treat. You guys have a good time tonight, by the way. It's a good show. Pretty good for outdoors. My next guest uh, is maybe one of the most famous athletes of all time, and uh, and she's here uh, to to rip it up uh, with me for the first time ever on the Dr. Phil Live Show. Uh, you might recognize her from TV. Uh, she's got a very famous family uh, called the Kardashians. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kendall Jenner. Let us hear it. Kendall Jenner. It's not Kendall Jenner. <laughs> I can't show, but it's a. Uh, it's not Kendall Jenner. <laughs> I can't get the camera that far. It is a. Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's not Kendall Jenner. <laughs> if anyone was excited, it's he Kendall. Let's go ahead and put this back. Wow, good one, Netflix. It's a. Uh, what's it? What are they called? A, uh, not a puppet, but a... Uh, Caitlin, uh, I know you've been on uh, on the road recently. All right, well, there's uh, that's going on out here in Hollywood. Netflix is a joke. Dang, look at that Bronco. Sheesh, I need that. All right. That's cool. That's going on right now. It's probably crazy expensive to get in there. Ventriloquist, there you go. Cool. All right, we're coming up on Hollywood Boulevard. That Netflix is a joke. Like, I've never seen so much advertising for a thing until I've seen that. Like, they're everywhere, dude. They have like a uh, they have a garbage uh, trash truck with their uh, you know with the logo on it, <laughs> like an actual garbage truck. Some cool art right here. From Hollywood with love. Hashtag cra crazy homeless nerd. Google me. 
Yeah, I'll pass, but anyone else? Go ahead and give that guy a Google, feel free. All right, we are on Hollywood Boulevard. Now we gotta get around these cars. We're gonna sidewalk surf it for a second. Nice and easy. Walk of Fame, Bob Hope. So here is, uh, what's this place called, Funko? Look at Groot. Yeah, they have a huge um, store now. Here we have Shake Shack. This is where we may end up after we do our little cruise. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what to mix I smell LA cologne. We're gonna head off the curb. It's a lot of people walking right here. Kids, etc. Hey look, a robot. That's what that is. Apparently there's people that control those. I think some of them are autonomous though. They all have like a person who can control it. Doggy. Uh, and take over at any time. But I think they might be like somewhat autonomous. I don't know. This is the train I used to take to get to Hollywood. Hollywood and Vine. That's my exit I used to take. There's another exit up here on Highland, but it's like, it's like insane. <laughs> it's so fucked up. It's so dirty and like dangerous which I don't care about, but it's been like extra bad recently. The red line, which is the, the train that gets you from the valley to Hollywood, has just been extra bad lately. Dude, everyone's smoking cigarettes out here. It's like disgusting. Sorry to all my smokers, but I get the smell is just horrible. Like everyone's smoking out here today. <clears throat> Either weed or cigs. I'm gonna curve it one more time. What is this? Interview with the Vampire? Never heard of it. Deja Vu Showgirls, hello. All right, right back off the curb. It's just too much. Too many people on the curb today. Let's go ahead and pedal through Hollywood for a hot second. It's at least make it to the, uh, the Chinese theater. Saw one last night that said human operated. Yeah. Yeah, there's for sure some that are um, I think like over here, they're probably all entirely operated by humans. Maybe like in the neighborhoods, they're like a little bit more autonomous. I don't know how good they are though. Are they even able to be autonomous? What if they run into something? You know, who's liable? Who's getting sued? Right there in Cahuenga, we're just hitting red light after red light. Gotta stop again. Ay, ay, ay. How we doing in the chat, folks? Are we chilling? I'm just trying to make it to the other side of this in one piece. It's getting a little hotter. It is, uh, I can't check, but it's, I feel like it's about 75-ish degrees. The thing is, once you get moving, you start sweating. It feels a little hotter than it really is. There's not much wind chill today. There's no breeze. Usually that cools you down when you're riding a lot, but there's almost no wind today and it's a little hot. 75 ain't hot, but it's a little toasty. Little toasty. Off we go. Lots of people out and about on Hollywood today, though. Kind of. I think we're gonna take a back street right here and then cut back down once we hit Highland. Because uh, from here to there, it's like there's not much. Actually, nah, we'll just go one more. One more block and see how it is. Next up, I think, is Whitley. I believe that's the next main street. We got Hudson. There's a really exclusive bar right here. I don't know what it's called. There's not many people are walking around. It's actually a lot for, um, for a Saturday this far down. Look at that. Teal Tesla. That's kind of a lot of people out here today. 
All right, well. Let's go ahead and keep going. We're basically almost at Hollywood and Ireland. So we can just stick on this road for a cool second. We're right here on Las Palmas. A little bit of nightlife. Most of these places I've never been. <laughs> There's one Irish pub, where is it? Yeah, this one, Jameson's Irish pub. Me and my friend Dominique used to come here. He used to live uh, a few blocks from here. And we'd come here only when there was uh, like UFC fights. They'd show those for free if you bought a beer. So we would come down here and get some food or, uh, or get a drink and then watch the fights. Other than that, I've never been to any of these places. Not a single one, nothing, not even the Starbucks. All right, we're gonna split it. Lock it in, folks. Whoa. Whoa. Sliding. What is going on here? They got three cameras out. I don't know. Dude, it is fucking packed. It is so crowded here today. We're only going to ride right past. Got a bug on my shades. You don't want to lift it, right? What's your nationality? Huh? French? Okay, okay. How about that? Oh, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be real. We got Spider-Man and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Dude, I was looking dead at him and didn't even realize that they were dressed up. <laughs> it's so normal over here. We are deadlocked at this triangle intersection, or four-way, that is. I was hoping to get on the sidewalk here. That is not an option. Got the tour bus. <laughs> look at Mickey. Look, look at why <laughs> Mickey Mouse is mobbing. He look like he's about to go beat somebody up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, I gotta get through. Let's do that. Dang, dude, I haven't seen Hollywood this crowd in a minute. It is genuinely packed. TMZ selfie tour. Wow, smile for the camera. Look, they got the rentals. 129, no deposit. Yeah, right. Come back somehow, your bill's $800. You're like, what the fuck? the hell happened? Dude, these fools look like the Power Rangers. You guys see these girls up here? <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's get around here. It is exhausting being around all these people. Look, Power Rangers. I got every flavor, every color. <laughs> I said every color. I thought of Skittles. Every, uh, I mean every flavor. I got every flavor of Skittles. That's great. Hey man, someone could hey, but you wish you had eight friends you could dress up and uh, and a bunch of colors with and walk around. <laughs> I don't know if I do actually, but you know, I respect the hustle. All right, we're sitting back. So here was our original destination. We actually got here pretty quick. How long are we riding? We were just about an hour. We are at the hour mark. Here's the in and out. Check me out. Yeah, folks, I ride bikes if you forgot. <laughs> I got handles too. Uh, this is the in and out. Um, it is completely packed. There's absolutely no way I can leave my bike out here. It will get stolen, 1,000%. And it's super crowded. It's super crowded. So uh, instead of doing that, we're down here on Sunset again. You know, I wanted to put my, uh, he's just cursing like nobody out. I don't even know who he's talking to. 
I wanted to put my camera down to free ride here for a bit, but I really don't want to undo it. It's so like just redoing it right there for the um, for that little Netflix thing. I was like, oh my god, I hope I can put it back the way it was. Luckily, I kind of was able to. I don't know if it even is. Powerpuff Girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they wanted to pick with you. No, they thought I wanted to pick with them. <laughs> Spider Man, yeah. yeah. Where are the tunes? Oh yeah, whoops. I don't know, can you guys even hear that on my uh, my Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. You probably can't, uh, you can hear like everything that's going on. And she did not look like she's having a good day. Anyways, here we are. We also have Chick-fil-A right here. I'm just not in a Chick-fil-A mood. I kind of just want like a cheeseburger. Uh, but from here, remember I was saying, let's take Sunset back. I think we're gonna cruise down Sunset for a bit. I'm really not hungry. I'm just not hungry. So, we're just gonna keep on riding. We are currently at 8.8 .8 miles. Average mile per hour at 8.7, that's like nothing. 324 feet climbed. This is like, it's like a very slow ride for me. <laughs> Usually, if I'm riding, I'm like cooking, but right now I'm trying to give you guys more of like a, a fun watch experience, so. That's what's going on. We do not have, we do have a green. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on right here. So you guys see this, um, this homeless camp across the street? They recently installed these, uh, those, you see those steel things? I wish I could zoom. Those, uh, maybe I can. I'm trying to unlock my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Never should have opened the screen. I never should have opened the screen. <laughs> right when I opened it, it just froze. <laughs> right when I opened this shit up, everything froze. Yeah, we're back, folks. We're back. Quick F. Thanks for being quick in the chat to, to let me know. Uh, the second I opened, I think it was because of all that construction right there. Or it's because I opened the screen. I actually can't tell. It's one of the two. But uh, whoops, <laughs> yeah, whoops. Refresh folks, tell, uh, say refresh in the chat if anyone, uh, there's probably some people that are not refreshed. Um, yeah, it either could be that construction we passed or the fact that I opened the fucking the phone. <laughs> I have the phone locked, which is good because it's, it's burning like almost no battery. Like it's, we still have 80% battery, which is insane. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what was going on across the street. And that was unable, I was unable to do that. I'm also gonna keep going right here. So anyways, long story short, I was saying they, they put those barriers up to make these people move and they just moved down the street. They moved around the corner back there and they moved around the street. Ugh. So uh, yeah, pretty much all the homeless folks in Hollywood are down here on Sunset now. That's a cool truck. Rivian. Where's the cyber trucks at, man? I haven't seen any of those. Refresh, yeah, refresh uh, if it hadn't come back, yep, yep. If, uh, if you're missing out. Anyways, slight hiccup. Besides that, right now, we haven't had any other service problems, huh? We had that one little hiccup, but other than that, have we had any uh, issues with the service? I think we're good, huh? Like, we've actually been pretty solid riding around. Yeah, yeah refresh, Corey. Yeah. Anyways. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so the service is good, except for if I touch the phone. So don't touch the phone. Lesson learned. Look at this. Apple TV Plus has an exclusive pop-up right here. What's it for? I actually have Apple TV Plus for the first time ever with my uh, T-Mobile plan. I get free Apple TV Plus, which is sick. Everyone's up here honking. We are sidewalk surfing right now. There's just a lot of traffic, so we're trying to get around it. And we're almost there. If we can cross right here, that'd be huge. Nope, almost. 
have to do some zigzagging. Yeah, this part of Hollywood is like forgotten, <laughs> is what it feels like. It's like they just shoveled all the, like the, they just stuffed all the homeless folks here and were like, all right, stay off the of Hollywood Boulevard and we'll let you stay here. That's kind of what it seems like, honestly. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, look at this M4. That thing's so clean. Is that an M4 or M3? I can't tell. I don't know. My modern BMW is like that. My friend finding Nick just got one of those uh, cool car. Can't see myself going into debt for another automobile ever again. <laughs> if I can't buy it in cash, I cannot afford it. I cannot afford it. We're kind of going downhill. So, what do you guys think? Do we just take Sunset all the way back? I'm kind of down. That might be fun. There's going to be a lot of hills. We got to do one huge hill in particular. Like huge. But it could be fun. Solid? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're back. We're back. I know, I know to not touch the phone again. I just have to not, literally not touch it. So, and then we're good. I think I'm gonna take Sunset all the way back. We could also double back through Koreatown though. So either way is a possibility. I guess I'll play it by ear. Bro, what the hell was that? Someone started up an electric scooter or something. It was super loud. The one problem about going this way is that, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a huge hill. It should, I, maybe I'll do it though. Like I, maybe I need the cardio, you know, <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> I'm going to be straight up chugging up that thing though. Like, uh, 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 uh. we'll see. Yeah. There's a, um, there's a bike event later tonight too, that I'm kind of considering going to. If I did, I would keep the stream going. I'll just hop in my car on live stream and like, uh, and drive over to it, but I'm not totally, not totally set on going. I was watching Jeremy stream and there is a, um, there's a bike group that rolled by his group in the, uh, that rolled by Jeremy in the beginning of his stream. I don't, uh, I didn't know who any of those dudes were. You know what is funny though? I recognize the one guy who was blocking his car when he was on the bridge. I was like, oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that seems, uh, that makes sense. He's like the ride leader, so of course, you know, he's probably just trying to stop someone from driving, but he was kind of not doing it in the most polite way. Anyways, you ride bikes in LA long enough, you just hate all cars. You know, you never think about who the person is that's driving the car. I, uh, I'm pretty compassionate about drivers because I, uh, you know, value my life. So I just try to stay out of their way most of the time. I just try to stay out of the way as much as possible. You know, one theory I live by is that you can't fall further than the ground, which means that if you're already on the ground, you can't fall off of a ledge and break. So that also means if there's no car that can hit you, you can't get hit by the car. So if you're out of the way of where the car could possibly hit you, then it becomes theoretically impossible for you to get hit by a car. <laughs> so that's a big reason why I ride on the, on the sidewalk a lot is because you uh, typically don't encounter cars on the sidewalk. And uh, yeah, anyways, we're pushing down sunset. It's a beautiful day. This is a KTLA 5 right here. I think this is our old studio though. I feel like they have another one. Sunset Bronson Studios. Oh, there's that guy who just passed away. Dude, I saw him on so many YouTube videos. I never watched the news, so I didn't see him. You guys see him, that guy, Sam Rubin? RIP. <clears throat> Last time I was watching news was, in, uh, was when, um, was when Jillian Barbary was on the news, remember? Anyone from LA remembers Jillian Barbary and uh, I forget the guy, the, the, the guy with the white hair who always had hella makeup on. Dude, I had, a, I had an infinite crush on Jillian Barbary when I was a kid. I think that may have been my first crush, <laughs> it was Jillian Barbary. Yep, I don't know what she's up to now. Actually, I have no idea. All right. So now we're about to exit Hollywood. That was fun. Chat's frozen for me again. Let me restart it.
Let's see. Steve Edwards. There you go. Yep. See some random guy climb that tire. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. I remember when someone climbed that and it was on the news and like he wouldn't come down or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can hop on the freeway right here. Should we just take the 101 South real quick? Just pedal along traffic. Let's check it out. If it's going slow, we're gonna hop on the freeway. Yeah, let's save some time, right? I mean, it's just a freeway. It's no big deal for us to ride down it. Any cars coming? No, we're good. All right, let's go. Psych, y'all really thought, huh? At least one of y'all really thought I was about to hop on the freeway. Look, it's, no, it's traffic too. I could have, I could have probably got to the next exit. I probably could have got there. <laughs> no, we ain't hopping on the freeway on this. Saron, yeah, probably. Probably would have been 100% down on the Saron for sure. Damn, he's cooking in that thing. Whatever that car was, he was moving. All right, well, Ellie said take Sunset. We're taking Sunset, so let's go. Let's go. We got a long road ahead of us, so we're going this way the whole way. It's gonna be a beautiful route, though. Lots of palm trees. We may stop for a food, a food option somewhere on this way, because there's plenty. Once we get to, uh, you know, like Silver Lake part of town. Yeah. Sometimes when I, uh, when I used to do my road bike rides, I would start at Griffith Park, take the bike path, exit uh, Silver Lake, and then climb up Silver Lake, uh, yeah, Silver Lake Boulevard or whatever that street is, and then come up to the reservoir, go past the reservoir, bomb down to Sunset, climb Sunset, into the downtown, get to Staples Center, that's a turnaround point, cut back through the neighborhood. Oh, look, there's a Peloton up there. That's cool. And then, uh, and then double back the same route. And you have to climb this huge hill, which we are gonna climb. You guys are gonna see it live. First hand. You will be seeing it live. Yep. Is this where that target is? Did they tear it down? You know the, inf so there's this infamous target that's been under construction for like 30 years. I think it was right here. Google um, target sunset Los Angeles. It should pop up. It's like this target that's been, uh, they've been fighting to, to build it for like 30 years. Oh wait, oh no, it's this one. That's right here. Is this one? This is a target. Yeah, this is a target. So what is this? Maybe that's just parking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up too much with this area, but there's a target. Maybe it's just this one behind us. And they were trying to get it built for like, I don't know, like decades, like actual decades. And they couldn't do it because all the people in the neighborhood were protesting it or something. Like they just didn't want it to be built. And then I guess, uh, you know, dude, homie's mobbing, mobbing. <laughs> he was straight, he bent that corner in that Civic. Holy. All right, well, this is sketch. <laughs> this is sketch. We're sidewalking it. Yep. Exhibit A, folks, that's a prime example of uh, when I find a sidewalk to be the, uh, the smarter option. Oh. I see that the angle of the phone is a little off, but you know, just rock with the punches, folks. There we go, that should fix it. Yeah, I saw it was a little to the left. I think there's a Raising Canes over here too. They're about to build a Raising Canes in my neighborhood. I'm so excited. Oh, let's go. I've only been there once and it was no joke. Like, I wanna say an hour wait before we got the food. One hour from standing in line to Ordering to receiving the food. Yeah, that's like, that's, that's insane, right? That's crazy. That's like longer than any restaurant ever. Or like, even fancy restaurants don't have you wait an hour after you order your food. But uh, it had just opened. So yeah, even when this one opens, like I probably won't go there for, I don't know, like a long ass time, <laughs> straight up, like a long time. Yeah, I won't be going for a minute. But, uh, yeah. Look, this is one of the last 99 cent stores before they close this one down too. Going out of business. Still in business for now though. As you can see right there, going out of business. Nothing held back, entire store on sale. <laughs> yep, it's over. Oops. Yeah. 
<sighs> I grew up on a 99 cent store, but I probably, uh, you know, <laughs> I haven't missed it. Last time I went in one, it was like, I was like, these aren't even deals. I just want fries, dude. I could totally go for, I was, I was totally down for in and out but I was so crowded. I don't know what I expected going there though. It's always packed. What's up, Integra? Yeah, the one behind me was the target. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Everybody's out here smoking cigs, dog. Is that just the LA wave? Is our cigarettes back in style? Is that the, is that the move again? People are back smoking cigs? Am I on the wide angle? I truly can't even tell. I think it's not. All right, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose service again because I'm gonna check. Screw it though. Seven two six 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 three. That's not my pen, in case anyone was wondering. Yeah, I'm not. I've been on the <laughs> whoops. I've been on the <laughs> been on the wrong angle this whole time. All right, now we're good. Let me tighten this down. If you guys could see my rig, you'd be like, "Wow, how long did it take you to conjure that concoction up?" really is a masterpiece that I have holding this thing up but it is not bouncing huh it's been pretty solid <laughs> I was just on the tight angle this whole time but or at least for that little stretch so now lock the phone all right we're good so we're on 70 percent battery that's crazy to me if I was using my iPhone it would have been dead by now for sure iPhone just like the battery just zaps on that thing when you're doing anything 15 Pro Max, and it gets so hot. I did a test stream on my iPhone because uh, you can get buttery smooth uh, camera. You know how it's like super smooth? Um, 60 frames, but you can't use this microphone. Once I learned you could just plug this microphone into this phone, it was over. I was like, yeah, this is the, this is the ultimate move because it's cool if you guys could see what I'm doing. As long as you hear me, that's like, that's a real game changer. This mic does that perfectly. I have a whole other spare mic in my bag too. If this one died, I don't know how much battery it actually has. So if this dies, this is just the way I have to do this from now on. I don't see myself using the, uh, the regular phone mic at all. There's just no way after going to this, there's no going back. It's just way better. RV was about to just run me over sick. Yeah, some tells me they don't have insurance. This is about where we came with Jeremy when we were riding Surons. We went, uh, yeah, we came, we went uh, up here. We made a, a left, I forget what street. And we went up to the observatory. Look, someone just got an accident right here junk on the street crazy all right edgemont any edgers anybody edging in the chat right now don't answer that that was a joke don't actually answer that please ellie will ban you <laughs> guys are permanente that's my hospital if you ever need to go to a hospital i go there Self-realization fellowship. It's this place right here. I think this is a hospital. Dude, how much money is in the American medical system for them to have this humongous ass real estate, right? I mean, look at this. This is like, this is a monstrosity. I mean, it's a hospital. So it's like a good monstrosity, but like, damn. If this wasn't government subsidized, like how much money would this real estate cost you guys think? 50 million, 60 million, 100 million? For this big ass property, dude, it's huge. It keeps going on sunset. It's on this side too. This is uh, also Kaiser Permanente. And we passed it back there. They they own this shit. They, they have a monopoly. They even own the Starbucks, I bet. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, they, they're paid. Yeah, they got money. They got a lot of it. I think this whole area though is, uh, is like hospitals though. Because right here is the Children's Hospital. And I don't think we're too far from Cedar sinai either. I actually don't know. I haven't been to Cedar sinai in uh, about seven years. That's where I went when I split my eye open, had to get stitches. Let's see, have I been talking to myself? Did I, did I ruin the stream? Can I pause? No, we're good, nice. Okay, so I should probably leave the phone unlocked so I can zoom in on stuff. I think I could if I, uh, I don't know. I don't want to risk freezing the phone again. So we're good. We're, we're just going to be in the wide angle for the rest of this ride. <laughs> we're risking it. I also am been, uh, I'm being a good boy at this light because there's a cop right there. Would he pull me over for running it? Probably not, but you know, he could be bored. You could be bored and uh, and do that. Would it be content? Yes. Do I feel like that getting that content? No. All right, we gotta get back in the street. Gracias. Yeah, let's get back in the street. Ugh. Oh, door. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The Children's Hospital looks like a playground. Looks like a free riding, like I want to go ride through there. <laughs> it looks very inviting to ride a bicycle through. It's like beautiful. You know, they deserve every penny though, helping out kids. If I was a kid coming in here, I'd be like, wow, we're at Disneyland. So that's cool. Looks like you feel good about coming in here. All right, I am running a red light in front of a cop. Yep. That just happened. I just autopiloted, I don't know what to say. And uh, yeah, we're, we're good, <laughs> we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let me do one more thing on my phone. I'm gonna get the music back on right now too. I forgot, to, it's easy for me to forget the music's not even playing. I'm like uh, focused on so many other things at the same time. folks we're going down sunset drive yeah yeah beautiful day we got a couple options of routes we could take here if we wanted to explore side routes scientology media productions and they got hella real estate too freaking running the block out here all right let's get some speed going down this hill Got Del Taco. Shout out to Del Taco. I survived on their chicken tacos for a while. The soft tacos. Fire. This road's bumpy. Well, this light's turning yellow. Me and this guy are both going. Let's go. Yep, we did it. Don't do that at home, folks. Oh. Thank you. I'm not a bike. I'm not a bike lane. Uh, you know. A, uh, a bike lane freakazoid but uh if i did not if i was bad at riding i probably would have ran right in him all right super windy we're going uh we're about to climb this hill this is the one i was talking about this is the first leg of it there's a few different segments where we're gonna have to just go straight up so let's go folks let's go this is what we're here to do climb the big hill let's go Let's climb the hill. Me and you, I need you guys to give me your energy. I'm gonna need all of it to get up this. That's a fun way to go too, if we hit it right right there. Take Sandborn. But uh, we're doing this today. We're doing this, uh, we're doing this route. And yeah, we're doing sunset in reverse. 
If I was with my riding buddies and I was like, hey guys, let's go up Sunset the other way though, they'd be like, Haha, yeah, all right, we'll see you in downtown. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you there. Most people are not trying to go this way on Sunset ever. But this is the hip part of Sunset. Everybody's out looking cool. He's got a gravel bike. It's pretty sick. Alright, we're good. We probably saved like a minute and a half total. And uh and skipping lights so far. So you know, let that be a sign folks. Don't be like me, don't skip lights. You maybe save a few seconds at the end of the route. I just have like ADD bro, I can't sit at the light. Like I just can't do it, I just gotta go. So a lot of times I will, but if there's no cars coming, like I just go, I don't know, I just go, I'll just go. This is what it is, is it a bad idea? Yes. Should you do it? No. Do I always do it? Yes. This is what it is. Just got the fire orange dress, hello. Oh, please don't door me. I don't know what this is, but it's valet and it looks very exclusive. It's a lot of uh, fancy cars. There's another 99 cent store that's going out of business. It's all tagged up. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> well, we get a downhill before we go back up. So let's, let's make the most of it because we're not going to get many of these. Look, if I wanted to suffer, I'd go up this right now. Look at that hill. Holy, that's, that would be, that's, uh, that would be fun. All right, let's go. Got a little downhiller right here. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna split to the left, split to the right. Stay tuned to find out. I hate splitting to the right because uh, exhibit A, right there, you got people who just kind of pull out to the right at any given moment, which is, uh, you know, to be expected. We're actually gonna merge right here. Get behind this BMW, get past this bus, which is honking at the BMW. Uh, it probably me, I guess. I don't know. I'm on a bike, man. Uh, what do you expect out of me? Famous stairs to our right. We're kind of unable to stop. We'll check those out another day. But right now, we're descending. Yep, we are descending. We got a wide open bike lane, but we're still playing it cautiously like this right there didn't know what that bmw was about to do just got to be careful for stuff like that folks when you're out riding see now there's a decent likelihood this bus is going to pull over to the right like so didn't even look for me what are you doing like come on figure it out dude when you're driving a bus you have to bully i hate a bus driver who's like he's pump faking he doesn't know what he wants to do like right there he just stopped he could have just kept going to cut me off and I would slide with him. I think he's not used to uh, driving out here. I do give the bus drivers a lot of slack though. If you've uh, been keeping up with LA News, you know they're going through it. They go through hell, man. So, you know, it ain't his fault. You just gotta, you know, it is what it is. I'm also riding like a moron at any given moment. So it's pretty hard to adapt to my riding style if you're in a car. That's why I like when cars just do exactly what they're gonna do. Like don't, don't <laughs> pretend I don't exist. That's why I try to ride out of the way of cars visibility, which is usually a terrible idea. But for me, it works out great because then I can usually predict what a car is gonna do. Most of the time. Anyways. Oh, we did our baby downhill. Now we gotta start going back up. Here we go. You see that guy in that little tuk tuk scooter? Dude, that's sketch. All right, this is not the bit. This is not the big uphill either. This is like the baby one. So we just gotta get through this. Oh baby, starting to feel the hunger deep in the pits of my stomach. Oh, I'm getting hungry. We're just pushing, folks. We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. We're pushing. We're pushing. We're pushing. I would love to sketch on a bus. I haven't done that in so long, though. After my big crash where I sketched, I just haven't sketched since then. 
Sketching is just a bad idea most of the time. All right, we got to gear down one more time as we push up this hill. It's not that bad. It's about to get a little bit worse. <laughs> Once we pass Coronado right here, it's going to get a little steeper. <sighs> oh, we're going now. We're going. We've been with this BMW for like, like three miles. <laughs> Just let me hop in, bro. Give me a ride. Look at this dude running down the hill. That's like, that's beast mode. <laughs> He's just running down it. Good for him. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's lock it in real quick. This hill is not steep. Really, it's like a, it's like a seven percent grade. It's just a long, a long little climb. It ain't a long climb. Hey, we're on the right bike for the job. Legs are feeling good. We're at an hour and 30 minutes into the ride. So we're doing fine. Look at all this traffic though. Let's cut up. Let's cut up real quick. Yeah, I know. This is why we ride bikes. <laughs> to avoid this. Let's slice back right here. Boom. Oh uh, yeah. That's how it's done right there, folks. What did I even do? Like literally nothing, but I did it better <laughs> than anyone else you're gonna see today doing it. <laughs> okay, let's keep charging through this light. Boom. Up here on Mohawk Street and Sunset. Dude, I can still talk, I still got my breath. Cause I've been riding lately. <laughs> Back about a year ago, two years ago, that hill would have taken me out. For sure. It would have cooked me. All right, what's going on in the chat? It's been a second since I popped in it. Probably the worst time to look, but, you know, is there ever a good time? <laughs> Vibes are nice. What's up, Miguel? What's up, everybody? Just popping in. We're chilling. Look, he's got a dog. Backpack dog. <laughs> Love it. Let's go ahead and chill behind backpack dog for a second. <laughs> I used to carry my dog in a backpack like that and I ended up getting him goggles. Oh, let's go to Echo Park. Let's check out Echo Park. Why not? Yeah, yeah. How long can I go without putting my hands back on? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plus time. All right, now uh, we kind of <laughs> we kind of cooked ourselves. We gotta go up to the lighting cross now. Let's go through the... Oh! All right. Are we still live? <laughs> I don't even know. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Do you still drive? No. I have, uh, I lost my license. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a driver's license anymore. All I have is bikes and Surons. Why do you think I ride my Suron everywhere, dude? No license. Yeah, we're at Mirror Park. I'm just kidding, by the way, <laughs> okay, yeah. before someone takes that actually serious. Yeah, I drove here today. I live in Valencia. I didn't pedal down here. Whew. Is my back sweaty? Let me, let me look at the camera. Is my back sweaty? Oh my God, yeah, it's super sweaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, folks. So this is, uh, we're beyond halfway. We're pretty much back down in downtown. Uh, we did a nice little route. That was fun. What's up, King Red Bull? What's up everybody who joined in the middle too that I wasn't able to say what's up to. Uh, I was locked in, you know, trying to, uh, trying to not crash on a live stream. Beautiful day over here though in Echo Park, California. Pretty busy day at the park. We're gonna hit a lap around here. And then um, from here, we pretty much did the most fun part of, of sunset. There's one more climb and another descent we could do, but I think from here we could go through like, um, we could cut through 
maybe Westlake or cut through the financial district of downtown, do some more descents that way. Just ride down some hills. So uh, yeah, how's everyone doing on this fine Saturday? I haven't had a chance to really sit and chat. We just, we literally started and we hit the road. I don't think we stopped really once this whole time, except for the stream going, the stream crashed and we still are sitting at 57 viewers, which is good. That's pretty, that's pretty solid for us so far. Uh, this is officially my second week streaming, by the way. We're on week two. Next Tuesday is going to be the beginning of week three. Uh, I'm trying to make the most of every day. I am treating streaming like starting another job. I'm trying to be very consistent with it. My YouTube channel is kind of on autopilot. Like I, there's no, it's not as much of a struggle as it was. It's, it's very figured out. The content is, is planned. So that's good. So now it's like doing this. This is the next, um, you know, thing I'm working on. Sick to see LARL sick, man. Streams have been fun. Good. Good, good. Oh, I wish I could uh, I could show you this dog. Holy shit, that's such a beautiful dog. That's nah, gone. Dude, it was like a greyhound, but it was like black and white. It was like a Dalmatian greyhound. Super skinny. Skinny legs, skinny body. Uh, I am starving. Speaking of being skinny, I am so hungry. So uh, next thing we're going to do is ride somewhere to get some food. Um... John repeating old question, who you got, Jake Paul or Mike Tyson? I don't know. Aren't all those fights rigged? Like, is there actually like, is there really like someone who wins those? <laughs> or is that, <laughs> is that a real thing? Beautiful day getting tatted in Arts District? Oh, that's sick, dude, good for you. That's fun. What are you getting? Gotta be rigged, I think rigged. Shake Shack, we passed Shake Shack. Was, there's one in Hollywood, there's another one in downtown. We could probably go there. But if we go to downtown, there's like a lot of food options, so. I feel my tummy rumbling. Feeling tummy rumbling. I definitely need to get some food. Is this a light bike you pick up with one finger? Yes, it is. Yep, this bike's super light. It even has a speaker and a full bottle of water. Still one finger. The bike itself is like 19 pounds. Speaking of that, I need to drink some water. I've been severely lacking in the hydration department. Look, it's still full. I haven't even touched it. Ugh. Ugh. Lovely. Chad, drink water. Right now. Right this second. Right this cotton picking minute. It's a beautiful day at the park. Let me send a... Uh, a, uh, a quick video to my gal, my gal friend. Yep. What's everybody up to today, though? Is anyone doing anything fun? We got uh, we got getting tattooed in the arts district. Anyone else up to anything cool today? Bam. Live is going. We are still live. At the park, baby. Sick. Oh, we fell. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah. I had to, the second I closed the chat, the phone falls. <laughs> What's the <laughs> go figure? Let's actually put this right here. That's probably going to fall again. It's okay. We're only going to be here for a hot second longer. Oh my God, dude. I, <laughs> I should probably undo the phone so I can show you so much stuff that's going on right here. So much goofiness at this park. There's just a humongous truck. Rip camera. <laughs> Sorry, how long was it falling for? My bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we'll see as we go out, but um, oh, there's not that much going on. There's the, the ducks, the beautiful ducks. Um, I haven't seen really any cyclists today that I know. I've seen a few cyclists, but usually when I'm out riding in LA, I see some that I recognize. Um, I haven't seen a single cyclist I know today. Everyone's hiding. That's also way, way off of my typical route. So I think maybe when we go back into downtown, we might run into somebody and, uh, and go on a little secondary adventure. But uh, I don't know, it remains to be seen. I'm just chilling for a sec before we buckle back up. We're gonna go this way around the park, like around the entire thing. And then we're gonna pop out and we're gonna cut through, I don't know. I actually got a couple ideas of where we can go from there, so. So stay tuned.
Look at that boomer outfit. I am in a boomer outfit. It's called trying not to get sunburned. Yeah, this is my uh, this is my mountain bike fit. When I go mountain biking on my enduro, I have my bib on, bib, full bib, down to here, um, long sleeve, completely coated in sunscreen. It's the uh, it's the spray kind. Glasses, bucket hat. Yes, I'm not wearing a helmet. Am I stupid? Yes. Yes, yes. You should always wear a helmet when you're riding bikes. Am I an idiot? Yes. Am I a moron? Yes. Am I unsafe? Yes. But here we are. And we're not dead yet. Adidas bucket is fly. Sheesh, talk to him, man. This hat goes hard, dude. And it's keeping the sun out of my face. And I got the high socks. Shh. Shh. Give him the sock check. Damn. I don't know why I wear high socks. I wear high socks every day, even if I'm not riding bikes. It is a little bit of extra shin, shin protection. I think that's where it started. If you accidentally hit up a pedal, hit your shin, it's like one more layer that prevents you from getting a, a shinner. And usually I used to wear high socks all the way up to here, like thick ones too, like dad socks, like Costco style with shin guards and pants. Because I would get so many shinners when I was riding bikes. All right. That's our cue right there. You guys hear that? That's our cue. It is three o'clock on the dot. Let's hit it. Drink a little bit more water. This is probably gonna fall again. I kinda have to take a leak. What are you supposed to do when you have to take a piss on live stream? How are you supposed to do that? Phone immediately fell. Yeah, how, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I guess I gotta figure out how to audio lock the phone. Maybe I just won't. Or I'll put it somewhere and I don't know. We'll figure it out when I get back to the car. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Ugh. This setup is so solid. I'm loving it. Still needs a little bit of tweaking. And I still just wish I could straight up hook up a like a my DJI Action 4. That would be perfect. Or my GoPro, but it's just not possible. I looked into how to do it and it's like this is the most simple setup it's just the phone there's nothing connected to it except for the dji mic um, receiver i have the transmitter on my shirt collar and that's it let me check the battery real quick before we depart make sure i don't need to plug in i probably should have done that right now while we're chilling we are dude we're still so full on battery it's crazy how good this phone is battery wise mute yeah i don't know we'll figure it out all right let's go boys boys and gals gals and boys shit the girls are more active in my chat than the boys <laughs> gals and boys it is officially um all right yeah i don't have a brake screen in that setup we're just gonna we're gonna play by here let's roll we're about to hit it straight out of the park Ugh. keys check phone check we're out Am I still on the wide angle? I actually gotta double check that. Hello. Yeah, we are. Cool. Food time, real talk. Mount the phone, yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. I don't know, we're good right now. All right, let's go. Phone in pocket. Oh wait, let me turn, uh, oh, you're good. Get some, uh, get some tunes back. Let me get the tunes back. Ice cream man was low key the jammer though. Oh shit, we're going up a hill too. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's go. We got a few more miles we got to do. We're gonna go around the park to the right through this way. Oh, we got the geese. Actually, we cannot go this way. Yeah, these, uh, they will jump you. Look at the ducklings. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, if you ride through them, they will, like, straight up swarm you. So, we will avoid that route. <laughs> Gotta get up this hill. Let's go, let's go. 
All right, so from here, hmm, we can go left or we can go right. Or we can go straight and go on the freeway. Should we go on the freeway? We're gonna go right. <laughs> I don't even have enough time to bait y'all. We're going this way. We're gonna make a left on uh, Glendale. This is where we originally were going down. One hour and 50 minutes. Art, 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 art. We're tailing the scooter. Yep, tandem. We're drafting. Yep, sketch. What's up, brother? You get across right here? We will. We're not going to take a second, uh, second chance on getting across this street. As we saw earlier, it can take a while. All right, so now we are going, uh, we're going like southbound kind of, back towards downtown. That's the ultimate uh, goal here. That's where we started. Mother's Day is tomorrow, folks, don't forget. Get your, uh, get your text scheduled, get your gift ready, get whatever you gotta do for your mom. RIP my mom. My biological mother has passed away many years ago. Rest in peace, God bless her soul. Looking down on me every day. My mother passed before I even started my YouTube channel, sad. She has no idea that I'm down here on YouTube killing it. But uh, my stepmom is a, such an amazing woman. She stepped up in every single way a mom could. And uh, I love her a lot. So I will be giving her some gifts on Mother's Day and uh, going up there to visit her. Anyways, we are uh, in a headwind. <laughs> We're in a headwind. All I can think about right now is food. Like I've, I have pictures of food like in my brain, just kind of floating around in front of me. Like it's like a mirage. Like I see like a hamburger and like a chicken sandwich and some French fries. <laughs> I'm just so hungry, dude. Uh, the hunger really snuck up on me. Like I was chilling for a while, and now I'm starving. So, dude. Okay, this street sucks, man. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh God, and glass at the same time. Oh, glass. <laughs> There's glass. We barely avoided it. Look at this thing. What is this? Find us on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Interesting. A little sidecar action. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's funny. Oh, we got some monstrous hills we could climb up here to the right. I don't know about that. Hey. All right, we're just gonna keep pushing right here. We can take the high road or the low road. Uh, I think we're gonna take the low road. Make life a little simpler. Let's try not to get run over. I don't, nobody's moving and none of the lights are green, so I'm just going. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the initiative. That's, uh, that's about the best I could do. All right, we got a flat route going back to downtown. It turns into hills in any direction, so we're gonna have to climb again. But uh, you know, that's what we signed up for. So let's go ahead and keep it moving. Oh, you know what we're about to pass? We're gonna pass that big, um, that graffiti on the wall that said, we still don't, and I couldn't figure out what it said. In the video, I was like, why does it say like, West, West till don't, West till dawn. <laughs> yeah, I was like saying some, some random shit. And it's funny, until I read the comments of people saying that says, we still don't. I had no idea that's what it was supposed to say. There's a camo van too, it's still there. Camo RV. This is a government building back here. I think that's LADWP. I saw like military Humvees in there. But anyway, this is where it was. It's right here. Yeah, I got covered up. Someone spray painted, we still don't. And I thought it said West Hill. West Hill Dawn. Beamer. All right, we got the green. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we're in downtown. 
we went, we started in downtown, we rode through Westlake, Koreatown, through Hollywood, now we're coming back into downtown. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is how it's looking right now. We're about to hit the tunnel and then we're gonna hit, uh, I don't know, maybe Spring Street. We'll cut through. Maybe I, oh no, we hit this tunnel last time and I still had service, huh, on the Sauron? So we should be good. We should be good. If we lose service here, just uh, just keep watching because it should come right back. I shouldn't have to reset the, the app. Oh my God. You gotta tell me twice. Right back on the street. <sighs> okay. Nice little route so far, about two hours, covering some ground. What's up, JJ? All right, chilling. Hope you guys in the chat are enjoying the, uh, the broadcast so far. Hope this is fun. We can definitely do this on the weekends. This is uh, a, chill, a chill thing to do. You know, we got a green, but this lady not gonna stop. Nope. All right, pray for service. Yeah, yeah. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Hello! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you can't go into a tunnel and not yell at least once. Yeah, 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 you gotta yell. Yeah! Ah, that sounds so cool. Yeah, yeah. It works better on the tighter tunnels, but you can still get a little echo in here. Hey, look at guy honks. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make some type of noise. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. <coughs> the fucking bug just went in my mouth. <coughs> oh, dude. That's when you start to enjoy downtown. Oh, we got the green. Let's go. I think we might hang this right on Broadway. We are in downtown. Oh, well, we're gonna do this instead, I guess. We'll go down spring. Nice, dude. All right, did we lose service here? That is, a, that is the main question. Did we lose service there? No, we're good? All right, we're good. If I open the stream and it's still playing, we're good. Nice, dude. Almost no service issues except for when I use the phone. That's so ironic. If I would have just left it alone, we would have had a a, uh, a smooth stream. Got the one wheel. Hey. <laughs> Sick, dude. This would be a nice day for a Suron cruise. Maybe we come back out and go live on the YouTube, on the YouTubes. Now that I got my setup uh, figured out, maybe we do another stream on YouTube later on. We gotta do it before Jeremy though, because I want to watch Jeremy. So what time is it? 3:15? Yeah, maybe. We'll just do it tomorrow. I think uh, I'm gonna go home and edit some short content after we eat. Uh, edit some stuff for TikTok. TikTok has been absolutely crushing lately. I know it's a platform most people don't care about, but uh, I've been uh, I've, I've been focusing on it, and it's been growing. It's just another way to make extra money, though. It's just like, it's just uh, you know, extra a little bit of extra bucks, and also a lot of a lot of eyeballs. Like it's rare that I post something on YouTube and it gets a million views in a day, but that kind of happens a lot on TikTok. Like it happens pretty often. I post something, and the next day I wake up, it's got a million views. So that's cool. And uh, are they fake? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is anyone actually real on that platform? I don't know. 
Anyways, we are in downtown LA, folks. We are in downtown. In the fancy downtown bike lane. We're gonna cut off of this street, though. Mm, yeah, let's cut up. Let's cut up six. Oh, no, fifth. We'll take Broadway. Damn, it's busy out here today. It's busy everywhere today, huh? It's just a busy day in the city of LA. A lot of activity going. I feel like we got a guy in a restaurant. All right, well, <laughs> I was trying to get to the restaurant, but the cars are kind of crazy right here. Or is that? No, that's an E-Ride. That's an E-Ride Pro, huh? Is that an E-Ride or a Sauron? It's an E-Ride Pro. E-Ride, yeah, yeah. One of my buddies just ordered one of those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you too. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's sick. Oh, Roy T. Yeah, one of my buddies just ordered one of those. You will all see it very soon on YouTube.com. Chrome pink. Neat. Maybe it's a Hellcat, I don't know. If I see one of those cars and it's like, it looks different than the other ones, I just assume it's a Hellcat. <laughs> I don't know if it actually is. Dude, it is so crowded. Let's go up 7th. I didn't expect this level of uh, traffic and pedestrians. It's kind of cool though. Gives us uh, some uh, energy. Here's the Batman Alley. They filmed Dark Knight down there. Some scene in Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, one of them. trying to continue on the move right now. That's kind of the goal, just continue moving. It's working so far. <laughs> it is working so far. Nice Jeep. Okay, here's Shake Shack. Dude, it is packed. There's so many people here too. Oh, dude, it's suit. Oh, no, it's not that packed on the inside. Eh, okay, we got that option. We have the option of Shake Shack. Shake Shack is like a cyclist uh, messenger meetup now. I don't know why. But a lot of the bike messengers in LA go hang out there. Holy. All right, so. Um, let's take a left on Grand. We're almost back where we started, which is Staples. Around that area, that is. Let's go ahead and bike lane it. You know what would be perfect right now? It would be like a taco truck. So I don't have to go inside anywhere. That would be the move. How we living, folks? When you turn his wind, oh, whatever. I truly don't care anymore. We're, we're like, we're already like, <laughs> yeah, we're in the trenches with this shit. It is what it is. Next iteration, like I said, I got the wind muff. I, I don't know how I forgot that. It must be sitting on my counter because I remember checking everything multiple times before I headed out. Go ahead and get across right here. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh. Well, that was, uh, you know, wow. Anyways, let's go ahead and get over. Looks like this road is closed. Why is that actually? Let's take a look. My hat is flying off my head. Yeah, it is really windy right here. It's because of the buildings, I think. The buildings are uh, making it windier than 
than it actually is. What is this? Why is it Roadshow? It doesn't look like they're shooting a movie, but they could be. Got one. Uh oh. Oh, farmer's market. Okay. I'm going to see a farmer's market, though. It says Farmer's Park or South Park Farmer's Market today. Oh, it ended at two. Yeah, it's well past two, huh? They just have the rose clothes, road closed still. It smells like pee. And that's, uh, that's part of the course in downtown. My ass hurts. <laughs> even with the pad, my ass hurts. Even with the, with the cycling bib, the pad. <laughs> like I, even with my gigantic tampon, my ass is in pain. <laughs> From riding on the seat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is. It is though. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go ahead and slide around. Shout out to my quick hops. Those saved my life so many, so so much. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't know how to money up. I would run into so much stuff. That's what would happen. <laughs> I'd run into a lot of things. Graffiti towers right in front of us. To our left. You guys see them? Right here. Yeah, that's them. Shout out to this mic setup though. Truly a game changer. I don't think this would have been nearly as an enjoyable experience if you guys had to listen to brutal wind the entire time. Even if it's kind of bad still, still better than what it was last time we got out on a Wednesday or whatever that was. Yep. More traffic. Yeah, so here's the graffiti towers. It looks like there's uh, no cops here. Oh no, there is. There is. <laughs> they're, they're here 24 seven now. We could, I don't even wanna go this way, but yeah, there's two cops here right now. They just get paid overtime to just never leave here. They got the easiest gig. Those gotta be like the cops with seniority. Cause uh, they never leave. <laughs> they just never leave. Yeah, they're always there. We'll probably see some more as we turn this corner right here. But to be fair, the second they do leave, people will come and tag it up, like immediately. Check out LA Live. Let's take a look at Kobe. Kobe. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yep. Kobe, leave the game better than you found it. Kobe. Yep. All righty. Well, here we are. I can't wait to sit down. We're going to go up here and uh, take a take a load off briefly whoa it's so windy right here whoa it's super windy it's like an extreme headwind let's get off of the road dang it's windy it's like uh it's requiring double my my strength to pedal right now okay we're out of there. Let's get to a, a chill spot for a second. Lakers are out of the NBA Finals, so this whole area is just kind of empty right now. <laughs> they still got the Lexus boxed up. <laughs> this was a centerpiece while the games were going on, but now it's just here. <laughs> it's just a Lexus in a box. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm getting a flat. Am I? I don't know. Let's take a look. Holy, we did it. All right, we, are, we did a full loop. Let's see how many miles. Let's check our stats so far. Two hours, 10 minutes. 18.57 uh, miles. Almost 500 feet climbed. 
eight and a half miles per hour average. That's so slow, but you know, I wasn't exactly trying to be a speed demon. All righty. Ooh. Grab this thing. Okay, finally. My first time actually chilling, like since we started. All right. I'm gonna chill for a bit, drink some water, rechat, reconcile. What I miss? Kryptonics with the prime, dude. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't, why it didn't make the noise. Maybe it did, and I didn't hear. Thank you, Kryptonics. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. I got two subs. Let me check the. Uh, let me check the. Kryptonics with the prime. What else did I miss? Did I miss another sub today? I don't see one. I don't see one today. Was it a dono? I don't know. Did I miss anything, Ellie? Man, I am cooked. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Like I could easily do the same route we just did. The West Main. I see, I see Kryptonics. I don't see the West Main. Well, thank you, the West Main. Sorry, I can't see it. I am uh, woof, a little winded. How's this sounding? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't know it'd come through the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> it's there? I don't know. I can't see it. My phone's... I think I, there's probably more stuff because the last alert I got besides Kryptonics, which I see right now, was, um, was at 11.02 a.m. I think my alerts are frozen. Let me restart the app. Oh. oh, the Westman, I see it. 3.26 p.m. Thank you, Wes. Thank you, the Westman. Thank you, bro. Well, we're here in downtown LA at the Staples Center. Let's put this bike down, grab some more water. And uh, yeah, we just did a nice little route. Chilling, thinking of what to eat. How's everyone Saturday going? Hope you guys been enjoying the ride. I'm having fun. That that was a fun route we just did. Two and a half hours of uptime so far. I forgot we did like a, tw a ten minute intro. Yes, yeah, so far so good, huh? I'm pleased that the um, that the that the program has been smooth. Video is good. Sound solid. Um, the alerts on the phone are not working, so we should have heard that sub alert. I don't know if you guys did hear it or see it, actually. Maybe I just didn't, but that's what I'm using. IRL Pro, yeah, I'm using that. Whew, folks, I, am, I just got immediately cooked right when I sat down. I'm tired now. Ah. Whew. All right, let's take a look at food options. Let's take a gander. What's the worst food truck in LA? Oh yeah, I did read that and I forgot to reply. Um, I don't know. What would the worst one be? Um, I mean, most of them are decent, you know? They're just expensive. So if you go by like price, if anything costs more than like 15 bucks, I immediately rule it out. That's already too much. You know, that's already, that's already too expensive, I think. Like my max for a food truck is like, it's like 12 bucks. After that, like I'm like, this better be hella food. <laughs> this better be like a big ass meal, you know? Yeah, I do need to get food. I just don't know where. I don't feel like going inside a place. I don't feel like I kind of. I do know one taco truck I could get. I could check out. It's kind of, it's kind of a push from here though. So we may do that. That would be um, that would be a good move. I'm 
looking on Google Maps around what's uh, what's available. Dude, we listen to reggae all day. <laughs> I didn't even mean to play that, and it was just playing all day. <laughs> Let's switch it up. Let's play some oldies. Smash burgers? Hmm. I mean, if I was gonna eat a burger, I'd go back to Shake Shack. That's like for sure the best burger in the city. There's a there's a taco truck that has burgers, but like, it's a it's a taco truck. <laughs> it's like a, it's a taco truck. I don't know if I would get burgers from a taco truck. It doesn't sound like the best idea, but they could be good. I don't know. They could be fire. Have you guys been getting a bunch of ads? Have you been? Has it been a shit ton of ads? <laughs> If so, my bad. Um, when I'm on my computer, there's a button you can press to prevent the ad, which I press it when I notice it, but it does it anyway. It's gonna give you guys ads when you join. It gives them on regular intervals. And if you, if you, if you, if you take them off, it shows ad anyways. Turn them ads off, nah. It's gonna show them anyway. I just don't get paid. Even if it's only like 10 bucks. That's my food for the day, dude. Come on. You don't want me to eat? Stream on YouTube? Nah, I'm gonna stream here. We'll see though. I'm gonna stream on YouTube if I feel like it, but this is where I stream. YouTube is for videos. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know. I'm doing more research, doing reconnaissance. Mashed potatoes with beef and sauce offered. For me to get that out here, that's like a $20 meal. You can't find, because that's like, there's no like quick spot that has something that fire. A steak sounds fire. I could just eat a whole steak right now, just with my hands. I could just pick up the steak and just, and just fucking eat it. Just, just take it down. Dude, is this a spam account? Cause so, like, I feel like it's different names that just come in here and, and ask, are you thinking about Jesus on like a, on like a, on like an interval. Like what's going on? It is bots, huh? What's up with that? I got nothing against that, but like it's a, it's a, it's spam. <laughs> like why is there fucking bots coming in here and asking us that? And it works because I just said it out loud. They accomplished their goal. Fucking bots, man. I fucking hate bots. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. I think I may end. It's hot now. I think I'm done riding. I could get food on stream. Should I get food on stream? Or should I just end? Should I just end and like hop back in the car and uh, and push back to uh, to the desert? I got to make sure my bike's charged. My my Suron to film on tomorrow. Food on stream, dude, but there's nothing around here, dude. I don't, I can't think of anything like right off the top of my head that I would get. Let me think. We pat, we should have got smack, we should have got, um, we should have got food when we were right there. We should have got a uh, Shake Shack when we were passing it, huh? Fuck, dude. Nah, this is a fun stream, though. This is fun. We promised us fries. God dang it. <sighs> now nah, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end stream. I'm sorry. I'll get food next time. I'll do a longer stream. I'm so tired. We'll do this on the Suron tomorrow, I think. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I gotta film tomorrow, though. I gotta make a YouTube video. We are, uh, we, I think we're announcing the next giveaway, like, really soon, like, on the 15th. I think that's the plan. So I have to get some videos ready for that. 7-Eleven hot dogs. There's a 7-Eleven right there. I'm not getting a 7-Eleven hot dog, though. Nah, I think I'm gonna end, y'all. I think I'm gonna just, uh... I am going to end. I'm going to grab some food. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be live in the morning for desktop. Any of you guys are up, I'm going to be live. Not at 7, though. Weekends, I'm just chilling, you know, so I'll be live. Like, I think I'm going to change my, se my 7 a.m. schedule. I want to change it before we actually start. We're slowly rising in average viewers, and I don't want to have everyone hooked on 7 a.m. because that's just brutal sometimes. So maybe a little later, start next week, maybe 7.30, maybe even 8. But uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live at home. And then we may do a, another IRL live later. So we may do a little two a day. But, uh, you know, kind of a quick stream, only two and a half hours. I kind of meant to be out here for a full four. 
but uh you know i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired we did uh we did a kind of a lot of pedaling yeah we did uh we did 19 miles which is not that much i'm good for a solid 40 for sure but we got to get out a little earlier got out late so uh yeah i'm gonna end folks i'm going to load up i'm gonna get back to my car get some food uh, drink a gang of water i feel severely dehydrated right now uh second iro is a success if you see this on youtube it's gonna be my section second channel youtube.com slash h i x at hicks h i x is my other youtube channel that's where i'm posting my highlights um and yeah that's it check for me tomorrow i will be live at some point either in the morning desktop IRL in the afternoon or both maybe both i don't know and uh, we will be filming. So I'll probably be on the Suron, which since we have the, uh, the audio figured out, shouldn't be a problem. But that's it. Peace out, y'all. Uh, I got to end. I think I have to get on the phone to end. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned for the end. It's going to go to the F stream. So I got to do it from the phone, which is kind of kind of jank. But uh. oh, there goes my backpack. Up, oh, fingerprint doesn't match. Up, oh, we're never mind. We're staying live, guys. Just kidding. I'm turning it off. All right, bye, bye.